Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys a really cool feature you can use in GIMP, which is similar to the Drop Shadow, and actually uses Drop Shadow as one of its components, but adds a couple of things on top of it, including highlighting and a Gaussian blur effect, but all in one. And it's called the SAC effect. Now, uh, the SAC effect, if you use it like I do, will give you a similar effect to what you see on screen. So it's got that drop shadow, but it helps it make it helps it stand out just a little bit more than a standard drop shadow without really doing many other steps. So in order to get the same effect on this other image I have going on here, you can use this for thumbnails or just any text you really want to stand out. Um, now you can see, of course, that with just white text, you get some issues where the white doesn't play well with other light colors in the background, and that's why we need to make that stand out a little bit more. Now you could of course use a standard drop shadow effect, but we're going to take it a step further. So to use this effect, make sure you have your text selected. Go right click on the layer where that text is, and choose alpha to selection. And what that's going to do is it's going to set the boundaries for where it's going to actually apply the effect onto. Um, exactly where the text actually is. So um, in the filters menu, we go down to light and shadow, and then the sec effect is right under drop shadow and perspective. When we open that up, you see that there's a couple more menus here. Um, by default, the drop shadow blur radius is more like a five, and the highlight opacity is more like a 66, and that's out of 255, so it's actually uh, not 66%, but more 66 out of 255. You can bump that up if you need. Uh, but the main thing you're going to want is probably a higher drop shadow blur radius. That's the single um, the single setting, which will give you the most dramatic changes. Um, basically, more there'll be more dark shadow on the background. If you want it to not be so overwhelming, you can also decrease this, of course. But I'm just going to use the settings I have here at the moment, and we'll apply it. You can see here, just after a couple seconds, the text stands out so much more than it did before. Um, and we can actually go back and if we want, we could even increase the size of this. By the way, the font is called Big Noodle Titling if you want to use it. I've been finding it really good for thumbnails lately. And we can bump that up to like, let's just say 300. Ooh. Okay, well it's still kind of fits. Uh, maybe 290 actually. It's always a little bit of a uh, try and redo when it comes to thumbnails. And I'm going to alpha to selection again, and we'll repeat that sack effect. So just with those couple of really easy steps, you can get your text to stand out a lot more in your thumbnails or whatever art piece you happen to be working on. It's really awesome, uh, similar to Drop Shadow, but just takes it one little step further. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this tutorial on GIMP. I hope you guys find the sack effect to be useful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.